Dear friends, I welcome all of you to this program, Voice of Saints. Today is November 6th. Our Holy Church celebrates the feast of Saint Leonard, hermit and confessor. Saint Leonard was born towards the end of the 5th century of illustrious parents, residing in the part of the province of Gaul, which was then beginning to be called France. Several historians believe that it is with his brother Saint Lepard, his origins can be traced to the castle of Vendôme in the region of Orleans. He belonged to the nation of the Franks and at the court of Clovis, his relatives were dignitaries baptized at the same time as the king by Saint Ramar. That monarch himself stood as sponsor in baptism for this child of his liking. As Leonard grew, he was so moved by the holy examples of the Bishop of Reims that he renounced the world in order to lead a more perfect life. When Saint Ramai had trained Leonard in virtue and conferred on him the tonsure, he began to exercise his charity on behalf of prisoners. Clovis, in response to a prayer of Saint Ramai, had already issued an edict that prisoners in Reims might be freed whenever His Royal Highness would pass through that city. Leonard asked the kind monarch to grant him personally the right to liberate prisoners whom he would find worthy of it any time at all. The reputation of Saint Leonard's goodness and sanctity soon spread, and the sick came to him for healing and charity. He did not fail to teach them also the value of Christian patience and to console them by the divine doctrine. The king decided to attach him permanently to his court, but Saint Leonard, in a disclosure brilliant by his humility, replied that he preferred to live in obscurity that Christ has chosen for himself for so many years, and he retired to a monastery. Saint Maximin, its abbot, so to it that he was ordained a deacon, the office he accepted out of obedience, but he did not aspire to any additional canonical dignities. He recognized that his role was not to remain always in the monastery and departed to preach to the pagans of the province of Limoges. He found on a nearby mountain a forested solitude which he decided to remain and there he built a cell of branches and considered himself rich in possession of God, joyous in his freedom to devote himself to meditation, prayer and mortification. He continued to obtain miracles when solicited by the suffering members of Jesus Christ. The spouse of a king living nearby had a successful delivery of a child by his prayers when her very life was despised of, and the king in gratitude gave him a part of the forest to dispose of as he wished. There he built an oratory to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Two disciples joined him in his sanctuary, continuing to pray without the interruption when their master went on pilgrimage to the tomb of the saints. Soon the sick came to St. Leonard here and prisoners who invoked him from their cells saw their chains break before their eyes. Many came to him afterwards, bringing their heavy chains and irons to offer them in homage. A considerable number wished to remain with him, but he often gave them part of his vast forest to clear and make ready for the labors of the fields, that they might have the means to live a honest life. He continued to be their guardian and father and preached the religion of our Saviour to them. And those who have once been wronged to us were transformed by prayer and labor. Seven families of persons who were his relatives in the north heard of his reputation, decided to come to him and remain with him. He was surprised but encouraged their good resolution saying, A fare of dry bread eaten in the joy of a pure conscience is more worthy than a house abundantly furnished, where quarrels and divisions prevail. After increasing in holiness until his last days, he died on the 6th of November in the oratory he had dedicated to Our Lady. Miracles on behalf of prisoners and the sick followed, and they had proceeded even after his death. The cult of Saint Leonard has remained extremely popular in France ever since, and churches and monasteries has been placed under his invocation throughout the whole of Europe. On behalf of Saint Fans Association and my personal behalf, I wish all of you a very happy feast of Saint Leonard.